Now, one thing I have to focus on, and I want to make it, if you don't want to comment on it, you don't, you don't fucking turn the mic on. Yeah. <laughs> but your day jobs, you guys are, we talked about this a little bit with Shotgun Soul in the podcast you kind of heard. There's always a dichotomy. There's always a superhero type aspect where you do something at night, but you do something today. Dude, Ben, I'm looking at you the most. You know you're a lawyer, right? Dude, I work at the biggest law firm in Detroit. Yeah, that, that's, that's yeah. what I'm getting at. It's right here. <laughs> it's, like, it's it's two hats, yeah, man. But wait, all right, so here I'll, I I I got. Something. Please, please elaborate. It's not very different, man. Really? It's not. Think about it like this. I'm good with words. Like, I don't even honestly, like, and I'm not bragging. I'm just saying this because it's part of the, it's what I'm explaining. I don't write any of those raps down. No, none of the raps on that album ever it's got written down. Okay. Like, yeah, I write awesome. them in my, I don't, it's not freestyles, but, like, I write most of my raps while I'm walking my dog or doing dishes or doing some other monotonous bullshit in the okay, car. Okay, okay. And I just play the beat and I, like, continue to play the beat and think through it in my head and can just kind of memorize it. It takes a long time, but, like, I memorize it as I write it. And by the time I get to the end of it, like, I, I'm ready to hit the studio. Like, I don't, I've never recorded with a piece of paper before. Like, I'll never read off a piece of paper on the mic. Like, it's not. Hmm. If I need to read it off the piece of paper before I'm in the studio, I'm not supposed to be there yet. I got to go practice it more. Like, that's mm-hmm. just fun. So, I'm good with words. I kind of, like, have a wordy brain, whatever. Like, I always was a good writer. I, like, aced out on all school and shit. I write my raps. I memorize them. I'm not scared to go in front of people. I go on the stage. I'm in front of the band. I put the show on. I fucking handle business. Lawyer shit. I memorize fucking law or whatever's going on. I write my arguments. I put the suit on. I go in front of court. Everybody's there watching me. I'm not scared. I put the show on. So, technically, you're doing the same thing except your crowd... Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's your crowd of, I don't know, 100 is now 12, well, and yeah. they're wearing suits. But, I mean, it's still, it's I have sp- there's specific things that, like, you know, in terms of, like, the type of, like, intelligence I have or my ability to speak in public, and it's funny that I ended up being the front man of a band and, like, a litigator in court. And it's just, Please. It's like I, it's just, I've... That was kind of my predisposition to end up in those two kind of positions. And, and, and you know what, dude? <clears throat> People who hear that right off the rip don't know us will probably have that same, like, dude, you know you're a lawyer, right? Like, <laughs> yes. But I knew Ben before he was a lawyer, and he was going to take the bar. Mm-hmm. And he was driving a fucking, you know, a shitty car. What the and fuck fucking, was he driving? This is a big dude, secret. I'll never tell you. Oh, man, you guys. All right, here. Oh, air it out, man. man. What was you driving, man? So, like. The day I started at my law firm, I got a Chrysler 300 SRT8. Before I had that, I was driving a 94 Envoy the first year they made it. The headlights were blown out, and I couldn't afford to fix the halogen bulbs, so I bought cheap circle headlights, wired them to the front grill of my car, and ran the switch through the door and flipped that shit on. I had a blown out window on the passenger side I didn't fix for two winters. The radio didn't work, nor did the heat. And it also, the, the key ignition cylinder blew out, and so I was starting it with a screwdriver right up to the point where I got the new whip. I got pulled over one time, and the cop just looks at me, and he, like, looks at me, looks at the window. There's plastic on it. Looks at the screwdriver coming out of the fucking <laughs> steering column. He's like, yeah, get out of the car right now. <laughs> and he should have. No, I right. got fucking pavement, dude, handcuffed. Like, I had to have call my mom, bro, like, get right. the title. He like, should have. He thought I stole and that's, this shit. That's what I mean. Like, <laughs> it's just what I want to, like, uh, express to people that, like, think that right off the rip because I saw him and he was, like, you know, he was not the lawyer that had a midlife right, crisis. Right on, right on. He all didn't right. have fucking silver spoon in his no, mouth type shit. I was doing all the way through. Man. Right. I've been rapping. And I see long. where it totally was, like, I seen him work his ass off for it. Okay. You know what I mean? It gave me a different respect for it. It's like, no, it's not like that, dude. You now, know, you I see it. the crossover when it comes down to Wordsmith and being a rapper. Would there ever be a crossover in a courtroom where, I don't know, you're giving a closing argument, and so like, I don't feel like doing this. Rihanna does the hook. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Rihanna sings your closing argument. I don't arguments. know how the client would feel about that. I will say that <laughs> when, when I got sworn in to the, to the bar, um. We went to oh, Wayne County Circuit Court, and a lot of judges worked at my law firm, so they had a special swearing in for all the people at my law firm. And the partner that, like, sp- like sponsored me, it's like a big okay. presentation, okay. is, like, talking about, you know, 
like, uh, you know, and Ben, who also has, like, a flourishing, like, rap career in the city, and he kind of oh, made a no joke about it. Like, I get kind of, like, the law firm people are, like, half it's cool and half think it's, right like, on. weird. And, like, I don't give a shit as long as they cut the check, you know what Yeah, I mean? but, like, yeah, that's what like, I was getting at. I was just kind of, like... Yeah. I mean, they so, deal with, like, they, they, the law firm found my music and listened to it before they decide oh. whether or not to hire me. Like, I got Ooh. vetted. Like, they do a bunch of background. Yeah, and, and even people, like, at the firm, man, like, who who don't like that music, like, you can't tell me it's, like, ignorant or, or not. No, there's a artistic. higher level as far yeah, as... Yeah, so, like, it's, in a, you know, but either way, so he's, like, so the judge is, like, really? What's the name of your band? And I'm, like, of Mice and Musicians. She's, like, like the book? You like that story? And we get in this conversation. Oh, you like, got to, you got to this fucking shit, battle rap. This, this, shit is on, <laughs> this is on the record, bro. Like, I could go to Wayne County Circuit Court, order the transcript, and have the transcript of my swearing in where I'm having a conversation dropping the band's name to, like, the judge as I'm becoming a member of, like, the Michigan Bar. Oh, my your, God. That's new to me. Your swearing in is a <laughs> battle rap, essentially. That's it. <laughs> that's awesome. I've never heard that story. Yeah, that's, that's great. See, that's...